everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. I wanted to take a few minutes to share with you a recent craft haul that I have from Michaels. Now the best thing about this particular craft haul is that if you are a teacher, you need to make sure that you sign up for their teacher discount. All you need is your ID from your school or your district. Take that in there and any associate can help you get set up. They are having a really big sale right now, so I just happened to stop in and I just wanted to, actually, I was looking for a heat gun. They don't have one. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna order one on Amazon. I thought that we had one and then my husband said that sadly, the one we had died so I don't have one anymore and I needed a new one. Okay, so let me share with you what I got. The thing about this craft haul is between the sale that they were having and then I had a $5 voucher. I also had a 30% off coupon and my teacher discount. I'm just flabbergasted. My bill was originally like $130. And we walked out the door at 89. I don't know that that'll ever happen again, but it happened this time. And my daughter got some things too. So this is actually not all of the craft haul, but she is um, off on a sleepover and all of her little crafty things are in her craft um, section that I don't dare venture into. Okay, so let me share some of the things that I got this, this time. So I recently, um, ordered a Cricut Joy. I'm so excited and can't wait to do an unboxing. And I thought I would go ahead and get a small sample of pins. I have a ton of pins for my maker, but I won't have any for my Joy. So I thought that would be very helpful. Another Cricut tool that I've been eyeing for a good while is the True Control Knife. And I have seen so many other wonderful crafters use this and I've just been amazed um, at how helpful it has been to them. So I went ahead and got one of those so that I don't have to keep borrowing my husband's. So the next thing is I picked up a quilling tool set. Now the benefit of having this is I want to make some three-dimensional paper flowers with my Cricut and this will help me roll those into those perfect little blooms that we all see not only on Cr Cricut Design Space in the project share, but also online. So I am super excited. I've got a video planned to come up with some um, designs. Well, actually, I have the designs already bookmarked in Design Space, but to come up with some projects for some 3D flowers made out of paper. Who knew? And so the quilling tool would be very, very helpful for that. And so I'll use this tool in that tutorial and explain how it works. Okay, so then I I have a lot of 12 by 12 cardstock and quite a bit of it is neutral and some of it are these pretty specific patterns, but what I don't have is just some basic cardstock colors. And, and these are just, I mean, ah, look at that, all these colors. Think of all of the little paper crafts and cards that um, we could make with something like this. This has 87 sheets and this one is a six by six block. It has all of these colors here and I have a hundred sheets. So I think between these two and they have some overlapping colors, but this seemed a little more bright and this seemed a little more just general rainbow and I needed both of those types of papers. I'm excited to open these. Who knows, maybe we'll even make some paper flowers out of some of these. Okay, so speaking of cards, every time that I go to Michael's, I like to get a pack of these. These are card sleeves. They are plastic. They have a little adhesive strip and you peel off the, the little backer and then you fold it over and this protects your um, cards. These are for A2 sized cards and I can actually show you. Okay, so here in my card bin 
I have been making some cards and they just look great. They keep my cards and envelope together. They keep them clean and dry and they just, they make me feel like I'm at a Hallmark store. Um, if you guys still have those around in your area, um, I've moved to an area where they don't have a Hallmark store, but so I just feel like I'm have my own little Hallmark store and they just, they make me happy. I love knowing that I can just come and pick up uh, a card that I need. And so there we go. Anytime I go into Michael's, I grab a set of these and these are very inexpensive. It's uh, a set of 50 for like $2.99 ish. These have been great. I absolutely adore these and I've actually used them. I have cut off the top little adhesive part just because it was, you know, kind of in my way, but I have used them for just a couple of things like this where I needed to house my pop dots and I needed something to contain them but be quick and easy to get to. So that was very, um, this, these are awesome. Then I picked up a set of A2 envelopes. These are also 50 count. And um, I have colored envelopes kind of around and they're fun. You can, I always decorate my cards. So you can see here, I've got the blue card. I've got a dark blue um, lettering on there done with my maker and the, and the pins. But I have found that I have more options and versatility if I just go with plain white and it doesn't distract from the beauty of the card. And I'm not a huge card maker yet because I don't think I'm that amazing at it yet, but I am definitely enjoying making cards that I know I can use with my friends and family. And I've really enjoyed sending some of those out lately. Okay, so now this is definitely something new for me. Um, I am not a stamper, but I do like the idea of being able to stamp occasionally um, and get a few of those. So. I bought a set of blending brushes. Now these, um, they have a pre-darkened top. They almost look like those like bougie makeup brushes that I used to see everywhere. It came in three different sizes and then this is like a rubber pad that has all these little knobbies and it's a brush cleansing pad. So you just get your cleaner going and scrub it on there. Um, that would probably even work really well for makeup brushes. But I just thought this was a great little starter pack and um, tells you how to use the cleaning pad. So I'm excited to try these out um, with these new inks that are, well, they're new to me. I bought these um, Tim Holtz Distressed Ink little mini cubes and they came in... Um, they came in sets of four. They had several to choose from. And so I just kind of chose a neutral, like I've got a, you know, I have a red, a green, a blue, a purple. That seemed pretty basic to me. And then I absolutely love this one. This is Wild Honey, Worn Lipstick, Weathered Wood, and Old Paper. I, being a Texas girl who's moved up to the Pacific Northwest, and I just love things that are rustic and timeless so this is just something that makes me happy this particular set is seedless preserves salty ocean i really like that name that's so fun mowed lawn and fire to brick and on the back if you're not familiar with distressed ink it does tell you like the ways you can use it and i've seen some amazing i think like um kathy zilski and Beth Dilly on their channels, they have demonstrated how to use these and you get to spray a little bit of water and it'll create this really cool um, effect. And I've just, they have done a great job. So you should totally check them out, but you can just create an, an aged effect. Um, you can apply the ink directly to the surface of something and use the water, like I said. You can use the ink on rubber or clear stamps and stencils, so it's versatile. 
You can blend the ink with ink blending tools like so for a softer shaded look. And then they, they have so many um, different sets of these. I'm sure I'm going to go back this week and get some more. And then I really probably should have bought the bigger box, but I thought I would just start out with this little bitty box that will hold 12. I'm definitely probably going to go get either another one of these or I'm going to get the bigger one. But what I like about this is that when you open it, there's a little plastic um, insert that kind of like, you know, like a little um, cupcake carton, you know, from the bakery or something where every single thing has its own little home and they don't slide all over. I absolutely think this is amazing. And then you can see the inks and their name, etc., through the clear window. So I just thought that would be great. It holds up to 12. And um, yeah, I'm excited about putting that together. And then finally, I bought some, um, I went to, again, on the Stamping Isle, they have a whole wall of glitter. And some of the glitter like looks like, almost like mini confetti. So I thought this was fun. I want to try a shaker card. And so this is called Pastel Mix. And oh, hey, look at that. Irving, Texas. All things great come out of Texas, myself included. Okay, so, so anyway, this is the Pastel Mix. It's just some glitter that we can use to make a shaker card. So I want to try one of those. This is a gold one. I have a little packet of silver um, glitter that I got online. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I thought gold would be nice to have. And then look how fun this is. This looks like candy. This looks like something you would find on a cupcake. And I am just loving that. This is called confetti. And I could not... Um, I just, I couldn't pass it up. So um, I'm probably going to leave these in these little bottles because I think they're so cute. But um, I had taken my daughter to the Dollar Tree and we saw some of these little boxes. They're magnetic. And I was kind of thinking that I might, in my other embellishments that need a better home, put them in here, and then these would just stick on my little craft cart that I got from Michael's as well. So anyway, this was my super crafty haul from Michael's this week. I am so excited to try all of these things out and create some projects that will uh, end up on the channel. And so if you have any great ideas for some projects that you would like to see or some tools that you would like uh, to see used and um, anything like that, just let me know down in the comments. I am happy to experiment and try new things. Um, I am happy to just dive right in and check into some projects that you would like to see and get those up on the channel as well. I will see in the next video. Make sure if you are a teacher to take your teacher ID when you go to Michael's the next time if you are not already as a member of their teacher discount program. Okay, until next time, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.